Hey YouTube, Eli here, showing you today my miner and showing you guys the fact that I am running, I am mining at one giga hash. So if you see right here, 1116 mega hash, uh, 1024 mega hash is one giga hash. So this is running, um, I'm running four GPUs right now. I just got a fifth one in the mail today. Um, you can check out my last video about that one. But if you see up here, I'm running a 970 another 970, a 960, a 7, and a 740. And that's four GPUs um, that are each running. So when it starts, it starts them at like 29, 28, um, but then it, it jumps up very high. Um, see like this one 970 jumped up to 418 mega hash. And I'm going to show you guys here why it jumps up that quick and how I'm able to mine um, so high with, with this miner. So I am using CC Miner. That's a fork, or it's a fork of CC Miner that is CUDA optimized. Um, and I'll show you the code here um, somewhere. The code is on my desktop. Do you like my background? CC Miner 2.2.3. If you just uh, Google that, then you'll find the, get, <laughs> the GitHub for it. Um, so then here's my code. Um, is what I'm running. Feel free to steal my hash and send me uh, Korea coin. Um, Korea is Creative Coin, and I'm running Kekak C also, which is important. The C is CUDA optimized. Um, so I can show you here on Google where I got that from. And then also you have to download the latest CUDA, also the latest NVIDIA driver. Um, so on NVIDIA here, you use GeForce Experience. Um, I believe I'm running the second to latest driver because a new one just came out, um, but I haven't downloaded it yet because it all works fine. Um, so I have the 388.59 is the driver I have. Um, I'm going to upgrade eventually to 388.71, but it all works perfectly on this one. So it does. if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, so let's see. I'll, s I'll find where this is. CC Miner 2.2.3 GitHub. Um, and it is a fork of that one, the TPRUVOT. Um, it's this one. So you just download this um, and install it for, I'm running on Windows 10. And then also an important thing you'll need is CUDA 9.1 toolkit. And then you just download this. This is like a 98 gigabyte file. So uh, be sure you have enough space for it. I got it for Windows. Um, and then that takes forever to install. It's, it takes like three days to install um, all the parts for it. And then also CUDA 9.1 will not work without Visual Studio. So you need Visual Studio, maybe this is a 98 gigabyte file, um, and it's called Community that you download. So then um, this one, the 2017 version does not work with, it's not, it's not, uh, doesn't work yet with the CUDA 9.1 toolkit, uh, which is what you need. Um, so the 2017, don't download this one download the 2015. So in order to find that, you have to actually type it in Visual Studio 2015, and then it's a little bit harder to find. Download older, and then still want an older version, uh, 2015, and then it's right here. So you have to download all those, get those all working, um, and then you will be able to run here, and it'll put it, oh, you also have to download your uh, Korea wallet. Um, that's OBS, that's not important. Um, so my Korea wallet here, it does put in, um, see here every three hours I get paid out. So like 2.12 Korea, it paid out. Um, and it shows all my past transactions and everything um, that it pays me out. So then another thing that's important. Um, so let's see, you get your Korea wallet. Oh, so in the readme for this, it shows different coins you can mine. So you can load these up. Um, and then there's all these different algorithms that you can try to mine a different coin. So I'm using the Kekak. It has Kekak here, but I'm running Kekak C. Um, and then, yeah, so algo here, algorithm. Um, here's the difference between the two, creative coin. Um, I did see a website where somebody tested all of these and like Blake coin was, um, was higher than Kekak C. So I might, I might try a different one. Um, but yeah, for now, the Kekak C works great to mine, uh, well, one giga hash on four cards for me. So yeah, um, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.